Hi everyone, this is Elena, and today we're celebrating Ateño's third uh, birthday. And I'm gonna show you quickly how to make this card using the Isalias, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, stamp set and as well label, label love. So here, quickly I show you the back of the stamp set, the insert that comes, it has the stamping guide, so I'll be using that one to layer the azaleas properly. So I'm starting first with the first layer, the solid layer, and I just wanna determine the position. And before I go into that, I stamp the outline onto some masking paper so I can kinda see where I want to stamp because I'll be doing two flowers where I want to stamp those so they look kinda coordinated and balanced. So I'm just cutting those from masking paper I'll be using those masking uh, those masks later to when I'm stamping the second flyer, uh, flower and as well the leaves. So I'm going very close to the edge here. I know I could have die cut it, but then there'll be a white border and when you do the masking, it doesn't really look nice. So I think that was that looked fine and on top I'm positioning that solid layer. Next, I'm gonna just condition my stamp with Versamark and then I'm using Altenu Crisp inks. I'm using first the uh, Mountain Mist and I stamp those. I'm here mass producing and I, after the first layer, I use my heat gun to quickly dry those so the inks don't bleed into each other. Now I'm uh, positioning the second layer and I'm going with the second ink from Altenu, which is Volcano Lake and I'm stamping that one and um, I'm stamping it twice and then I stamp all of those and now I'm just uh, quickly heat setting that, not really heat setting but just drying the ink and again I'm going back into my Misty, I'm using original Misty for the third layer and I positioned that one and picked it up with the lid of the Misty and next I'm going with the darker, even darker ink which is Lagoon and I stamped that layer again and I dried it pretty quickly with my heat gun. Next I'm going back in and I'm using the fourth layer. And this one I'll be using the industrial diamond ink cube to stamp those um, centers. Again, uh, drying that ink and I'm gonna go back uh, to stamp the fifth layer which are little dots then I'm positioning again the stamp, picking it up with the lid of my Misty and then I'll be using the darkest ink which is emerald. So next I'm using the mask that I previously cut, I'm masking that flower and I'll position the second flower which is identical on top of pick it up with the lid of the Misty and next I'm repeating the same process stamping and kind of zapping the a stamp image with my heat tool so that prevents the images, the, not the images, but the inks to dry into, uh, to bleed into each other and it gives even crispier image after you stamp like color layer all these uh, inks. So I'm again going back in the Misty to stamp the second layer. So position that there. Pick it up with the lid mask my flower and stamp it with the second uh, darker color. Again dry that with the heat tool. Go back in the Misty and stamp that third layer. First I'm gonna mask the second flower, well the, not the second but the first flower and then position and here I changed my mask because uh, the paper, the masking paper absorbs ink and li can leave marks underneath if you use it too many times. So make sure that you replace that masking paper every uh, few um, stamped images, after every few stamped images. Just turn it on the back and see if the ink has bled through or not. So next I'm going with the fourth layer which is the industrial diamond. Heat setting those, going back again, masking and 
doing the last layer. So this is with emerald. So now we have the flowers. And next I'll just um, stamp the leaves. I'm just picking out from the stamp set which leaves I wanted to stamp. So I'm positioning that and I'm kind of positioning to see where the, uh, the leaves I would like to be. I'll mask the flower now and I will be using the um, I'll be using the uh, bamboo ink pad to stamp those that's from the tropical forest collection so I'm just going around the flower stamping a couple of leaves on each side and in the process I'm masking the flowers so I don't stamp on top of them so I think that one's good there too So now I'll move on the other side, the first flower that I stamped that looks like it's kind of up front. So I'll stamp a couple leaves on that side too. So we're almost done with the first layer of the leaves. The leaves have two more layers and for them I'll be using the olive and then the moss for the darkest layer from the Tropical Forest collection of Chris Pinks. So I heat set that and I'm going back and I'm again masking and stamping that second layer using the olive uh, ink pad. So the reason I'm using Misty here instead of like regular acry acrylic block is because with the Misty, if I don't stamp something correctly, I can go back. So I want to ruin my uh, image as well. The mass producing kind of saves a lot of time if you're stamping with the Misty. So next I'll again heat set that image and I'm going back again for the last, for the third and last layer. And I'll be using the moss ink pad for this one. So there we have those. And we're almost done here. So moving that on the bottom. And now we're we're done. So this is um, four and a quarter by five and a half panel. Next I'm picking out a sentiment and I'm using for, uh, celebrate from label love. I'm going to stamp the image sentiment using the industrial diamond and then just trim it with my uh, paper snips. So I'm just trying to put, uh, find the perfect position where I want the sentiment to be. Next I'm just trimming that uh, front panel. And I think that sentiment looks good there. Next I'm picking out some gray cardstock. I think that one looked uh, best with the image with my panel and then I just scored it and folded it in half. Next I decided to trim it a little bit more because I'm using a strip of gray of green cardstock to kind of add a little bit more detail and more interest to my card. So next I'm using Cranger multi matte medium to adhere that strip and then I'll just trim off the ends using my paper snips. Next I'm Adhering that celebrate, I'm using some uh, dimensional tape, mounting tape, and then just adding some sequins, iridescent white sequins. So I just dump them in a little container so it's easier to pick them out. I'm just trying to find the perfect position, and then I'll just adhere them uh, using the Ranger Multi Matte Medium. So thank you for joining me. Uh, celebrating um, Altenew's third birthday. Make sure that you visit the My Sweet Petunia blog to see the details about this blog hop and there as well a lot of giveaways. So link will be in the description as well as the supplies. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye.